I think that's why a lot of guys maybe don't get second or third dates because sometimes it's just from splitting the bill maybe. Some women just don't like that approach. But also I think maybe if the chemistry and the vibe is off, and even if the guy pays the whole bill, they might not get a second or third date because the vibe's just off. It just kind of depends on the person you're dating. Hmm. I thought it was like because biologically men... Wait, wait, wait. Do you think that the vibe... Wait, I just want to make sure I'm clear on this. You, you, th you would not date... Let's say he's Mr. Perfect. He's in the looks department, personality, everything else. But he just says, look, uh, I don't think it's fair for me to have to pay for the, for the entirety of this date if we're both here for the same purpose. You're saying that's a disqualifier for you, even though all the other marks are checked? If it's like a first or second date, I wouldn't find it very attractive. But after a while, I think that, you know, going back and forth on paying for dates after you get to know the person, but I really want to see um, effort on the guy's part that they're invested in getting to know me. Well, let me just ask you, I'll follow up this last thing. If it were the case that a man told you, asked you out, and said that he did not want to pay for the date, would you consider that a red flag? Yes. Then why do you have the expectation that he wouldn't see the same red flag with you if I you think refused? That, I think a lot of guys do. Um, like They don't like a woman who just expects men to pay on the first date. Um, Which you are one of those women. But my expectations come from my lived reality, which is that pretty much for the most part, every date I've been on, the guy has paid. Um, but come towards the second or third date, I'll offer to split, and most of the time, they don't want to. Well, how magnanimous of you. Uh, okay, I, I appreciate the, uh, the back and forth there. Oh, I was just going to say, I just thought that it was because biologically men were providers and protectors and women were nurturers and caretakers. So I thought biologically we would look for those traits and they would look for that in us. Like, yeah, so I don't, uh, I don't dispute that I think uh, the ontology of men and women follows this pedigree. However, I think that if that is true, aren't women supposed to be acting in that pedigree and not acting in some other manner, meaning, okay, I want a provider, and I want a provider to take care of me, and uh, et cetera, et cetera, and in this case, you, the woman's the nurturer, blah, 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 blah. But if that's the case, and you want to do this the correct way, why, would the expect, why wouldn't the expectation of the man be then that you did everything in that traditional way, meaning that your virginity or low body count at the very least, or uh, the submission portion of this, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Why wouldn't he have those expectations? It's like you can't ask him to provide you with all those things and then not give your end of that, right? Otherwise, uh, you know, what are you, what are you doing here? Yeah, I'm just saying that biologically what? we just feel that way. Like, that's just the way we yeah. feel. Okay. I guess biologically men also prefer women who are not promiscuous and virgins, but... <laughs> Biologically, men like paying for dates, Brian. <laughs> yeah. Well, this all stemmed from, I think this all stemmed from, we were talking about rotational dating, women. You said, well, men do this. Men, they date multiple women at the same time. So women should do the same. And then I think I, that's how we got back into it about, well, so then women should pay because that's what men do. It's not illegal to pay for a first date if you're a woman. You can, but I just think that typically women are under the assumption that if a man asks them out and wants to get to know them further, mm -hmm. that they would be more than happy to pay for a first date. Uh, sure, yeah. Most men are more, probably more than happy to pay for the first date, but the thing is, is that I, as a man, can never go into a date with the same expectations that women can go into. Are a you date. going on a date with another man? How I don't see how that's. Then you even can an maybe argument. have that expectation of I don't getting know, your I date don't know what, paid for with a man. That's not that doesn't map on one to one about the conversation we're having because we're talking about women dating men and men dating women. It's not even clear to me. I don't know how gay guys like, go about it. I thought they just. I, I didn't think that, I don't know how they do it. 
You don't know? Yeah, I don't know how You're kind of giving vibes like you might know. <laughs> BLM. <laughs> Wait, how does labia get come into this? It comes into everything. Yeah, yeah. Well, it gets cummed in. Well, what the fuck, oh. you degens? Um, well, like you're upset I, because you want the expectation to be a man goes into a date with a woman and she would pay, right? No, he's saying the what? expectation that if he would prefer, even, if women prefer men to pay for dates, they equally could have the same expectation that women would not be promiscuous. The argument was, uh, why do you? Hail and well met. Oh, look at hey, look at who it is. Donated two hundred dollars and Paladin. two cents. It's simple, Andrew. She needs to get paid for her time, same as any other escort. Call it what it is: prostitution. Modern women are trash. Hey, it's just disavow. the way I feel your energy disavow. is that of a pool. Low paladins, we do not tolerate that that misogyny. Disavow. Um, go ahead with your. That's just simply what the argument oh. is. It's just if you Wait, if you expect to be paid for for the first date, and I'm not citing well, any but side. It's even more pointed, right? I mean, she's she's right, but it's even more pointed than that. It's just to ask. Oh, I want to be a boss babe, and I want to not be a stay-at-home mom, and I don't want to give you children, and I don't want to do any of the traditional shit that men would want in their provider role, the things that they get out of it. I don't want to do any of that shit, but I want all the perks of as though I am providing all of those things. And it's like, at that point, isn't it delusional to have that expectation? But you're not like, providing... The whole panel, wouldn't that be delusional? You're not providing those things on the first date. You're, the well, first you're already date. signifying Wait, that oh, you are providing that. Yes. Wait, first date? The what? The woman shouldn't what? Woman shouldn't pay. Oh. Is that the well, one? I was actually going to sort of relate it to that. I was going to ask. But hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, though, real quick. Before you go into that, yes, there is a signifier here. If you're saying, I, will, I like a traditional man who's going to pay for my uh, even the first date, you are sending out the signal that you are a traditional woman, right? That is what you are essentially inferring. And so, of course, you're going to show up on the first date and feel like you got robbed. He's going to be like, what the fuck kind of bullshit is this? You don't want to be a stay-at-home mom, you don't want to, and you still got to pay for the first date? That seems absurd, right? Well, at least in the relationship that I'm <coughs> actually in, uh, my boyfriend and I have discussed having children in the future, and it's not that I have decided I'm not going to be a stay-at-home mom, I'm crushing your dreams, it's that we both agree that having kids is probably not something that we want to do together. So I don't think that just because a woman doesn't want to be a stay-at-home mom or have someone's children... Did, that he, pay, did he pay for the first date? Yeah. Sucker. What a sucker. Wait. All right. But I'm in a relationship with him now. Wait, question. Yeah, he's as big a sucker now as he was when he paid for those first two days. I don't it's think he would agree sucker. with that. Wait, so you've been dating this guy for six months. Is Around. he? You guys live together? Yeah. Does he, do you guys split rent? No, because he owns the property. Mm. So? Amen. It's not rent. Does he pay mortgage? His, it's complicated because his, fam his family is involved. Well, does his family own the property? Yeah, him and his family own the property. Does his family live on the property? Uh, or is him it just and his him? brother. Okay, but I'm assuming. But I help with I help with some of the bills. What bills? Um, I help with rent, and I Wait, have. Didn't I just ask that? Yes. Well, well, like I help with mortgage, but it's like it's not rent per se. It's just like helping with utilities and stuff. Wait, so is it rent? Is it utilities? Is it? I would consider it rent because it's not my mortgage. I don't own the property, but uh, I guess I just help with like the household stuff that they need to pay for. So you pay rent? A little, yeah, I guess. Or do you pay utilities? Uh, whatever they or put both. the money towards. Because it's not technically a rent. Like to me it is, but for them it's a mortgage. Well, I mean, but that it's essentially rent because you're not paying the mortgage directly, I'm assuming. You're giving them money for you to live there, yeah. and they're putting it towards, towards the mortgage, mortgage. Like, any other other like any other landlord spends. would do. Yeah. Um, does, and what about dates? Does he pay for dates? Yeah, and I've talked to him about it, too. I've, I've mentioned, you know, if you want me to pay a certain amount, like, for dates and stuff, like, if money is ever tight, mm -hmm. like, let me know. And he says... No, there are date nights. Like, he wants to provide them. Hmm. Um, okay. Doesn't seem very egalitarian. 